Setting up automatic emails can save you a lot of time. The first step is to set up an email template. Here I've already set up a template for cleaning. This email will go out at the end of every reservation to the house cleaner. Here I've used property title and room name to show the cleaner which room needs cleaning. That data will come automatically from the system. So save the changes on that. And the next step is to set up an email schedule which includes this email. So click email schedules and then add schedule. And this we will say is our confirmation with cleaning message. This is just a title to help you identify which schedule this is. To set this schedule up fully, you should select messages for each of the categories. So reservation request, you could select a confirmation. So I will select one of the receipt templates we already set up. That goes to the guest email. And if I also want to keep track of when this message went out, I could BCC it to myself or add another email. I'll just BCC it to myself. When a payment is made, we will add the thank you for your payment message right there. And that will send an email to the guest with a link for them to make their payment using, in this case, we've set up PayPal previously. And that goes to the guest email. Payment due, we'll select the payment due message. Payment is due. And that goes to the guest email as well. And I would like to be BCC'd on that one. A reservation first day, that can be a reminder to the guest of that they're reservation is almost here. And in this case we're just going to send them the FAQs so that they know what to expect before they arrive. And we're going to send that four days prior to their reservation start date. And for our reservation last day we're going to send them a thank you for your stay. And we're going to send that one two days after the final date of the reservation. And there's one last setting here, which is used for internal reservations. That will set this schedule to be the schedule of emails that are automatically placed in queue whenever you make a reservation internally. In this case, we're going to leave it as no, since we already have a separate schedule that we are using. So I'm going to click Save Changes. Now there's one additional step that you can do to add additional emails to the schedule. Once it has been saved, click Edit, which is our confirmation here. And now you'll see there's more options, Add Additional. So on our reservation last day, we want to send out that cleaning message to our house cleaner. So we'll send set add additional, and we'll select the cleaning message, cleaning needed. And that goes to our cleaner, which is not in this list. So we will add another email, cleaner at cleaning.com. And I want to make sure that I'm also notified. So I'm going to add our support email as well. by separating that with the semicolon. And we will send this one uh, actually one day after the date instead of the other four days and click Save. So now there it is. The extra email is placed into the queue. So finally click Save Changes. Now go up to your reservation pages and click Edit on the page that you want to use this schedule with. Here we'll use it for Limon number one. So click Edit and select payment schedule. Oops, I'm sorry, not payment schedule. Select automatic email schedule, which is right here, and confirmation with cleaning message, and click Save Changes. And that's all there is to setting up an email schedule and linking it to your reservation page.